Welcome everybody to AMF Garden City. It is Sunday evening, January 19th, and you are here to watch the final four of LIGBT's Winter Major. These four bowlers are vying for the $3,000 top prize. Let's meet the people that have made it through to the last round. First up, Sonny Yi from Flushing, New York. Sonny has a 158 club average, getting 46 pins. Next up, Manoram Basteo from the Bronx. Manoram has a 170 average, getting 36 pins. Next to Manoram is Farrell McNeil, also from the Bronx. Farrell has a 169 average, getting the same handicap as Manoram. 36 pins. And last but not least, also from the Bronx, George Williams with a 142 average, getting the most handicap, 61 pins. Okay, bowlers, shake hands and let's get this match rolling. We had a great tournament here at AMF Garden City. 270 bowlers packed the center, creating a prize fund. <laughs> over $13,000, so we expect some great scoring on a very difficult shot. It's Alcatraz, 38 feet. It's been down for about 10 hours, so it's spotty. So making the spares is gonna make a difference. First prize, 3,000, second, 1,500, third, 750, and fourth, 500. First up, Mr. George Williams on the right lane. And Georgie, going there. Oh, going a little high, leaving a four pin, but a great shot to start the match. All right, Sunny Yi. Sunny Yi has one title. She made it to the finals with a 62 today in the two o'clock squad. Going Jersey. Oh, shaking six pin. She can't knock it down. Good shot. All right, Georgie missing the one pin spare. That's why he gets the most handicap of 61. He gets the most 61, and then Sunny Yee, what? A microphone? I gave it back to them. Just that he still had No, I gave it to Steve, the general manager. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, and Sonny misses her spare, so two opens, first two bowlers. Here comes Farrow, going Jersey, leaving also the six pin. And now Manoram Basteo, throwing a backup bowl from the left side. All right, here we go, going high, leaving the two seven. Manoram was a squad leader at noon with a 694, 694 series. So he bowled great to make it. And here comes Farrell, our first mark of the match. Well done, Farrell. Farrell did not make the finals until the Desperado. And look at Manoram opening. So the only bowler that marked in the first frame is Farrell McNeil with despair. All right, the handicaps the most. George Williams getting 61 pins. Sunny Yi is next with 46, so she, Sunny's giving uh, Georgie 15 pins. Here comes Sunny going Jersey. Plowing it down for the strike. What a nice shot. First strike of the match, Sunny Yi. All right, Georgie. All right, Manoram and Farrell both get 36 pins, so they're giving. Georgie, 25 pins in handicap. And it's Georgie going Jersey here. And he gets it down for a strike. So Georgie making a nice comeback, just like Sonny did after an open strike in. And here comes Manorant changing the line. And he gets a strike. So Farrell McNeil's up for the beer frame. So the three bowlers that opened all struck in frame number two. Let's see what Farrell does. He spared in the first frame. He likes it going high. No! So he's buying the beers, leaving the 3-6. Farrell's been a member of the LIGBD since its inception, 2009. He's got one title, looking for title number two. Georgie 
has two titles, looking for his third title. All right, here comes Georgie on a strike. This one, he's missing head pin here. Leaving the rail, the one, three, six, ten. And look at Farrell missing his mark. Oh my lord. So all four bowlers have a missed frame already after two frames. All right. A lot of pressure out there. $3,000 on top, 1,500 second. And on top of that pressure, a very tough lane pattern. It only took 197 to make it to the shootout from round three to here. So. Scoring is tough right now. Here comes Georgie, and he chops the one right off the rail. So that's his second open on the right lane. All right, you want to come in? That's your point. You're not gonna you want to do something. Sure. All right. Here comes Sonny Yi. Sonny coming in, going high, leaving the three six. All right. Now we're bringing in a guest commentator, Shandai Faison. One of our LIGB members is taking over the mic. Thanks a lot, Steve. Appreciate that. So as you see right now, Sunny Yi. Her keys to victory all day have been stroking up the middle. She's been a great spare shooter. She's been taking a lot of advantage of all her shots. And she's stroking up. That one's going to make it just in time. Beautiful. Takes out the spare. Beautiful conversion. So again, we're bowling on a 38-foot off the trash pad, and it's been difficult to say the least. Cut, cut scores have left a lot to be desired. And um, speaking of desire, we got Phil McNeil desiring, hopefully, 10 in the pit, as it says on the back of his shirt. And he strokes at the middle of the lights like it might make it. And, well, no San Francisco today, no 49ers. But the four will stay, nine will drop. Man around Bassadeo going with a backup approach. And I can't say it like him, but that is indeed 10 in the pit. I don't have the octaves as same as you, Steve. And Farrell strokes, and he takes out the four pin. So, right? I'm not gonna scream ten in the pit. Don't worry. <laughs> so right now, George Williams, one of our former LGBT champions, as well as Farrell McNeil, and as well as Manor and Bale, trying to add another one to their repertoire, to their resume, if you will, and a four pin again. So we got two four pin leads. Very high inside shot. No split, no trouble. As Steve alluded to before, scores have been a little low the entire weekend. Scores as low as 652 have cashed as a as a Friday, and 675 was cashing last. And. Converting the spare is George. Here comes Sunny Yi. Ooh, right through the face, and the 6 7 10 will be her penalty for that mistake. Anything can happen. Tougher spears have been made on this pattern. And Farrell McNeil taking advantage of that with indeed 10 in the pit. <laughs> Again, my pitch is not that high, so it won't sound as exuberant as Steve's. Sunny Yi is looking like she's going to take out the 6-10. Every pin counts. There were some bowlers here who have missed cuts by as, as little as one to two pins, so every single pin counts. Manor Ambassador coming up from the right side of the right lane. And, well, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And that was a good result of a lucky shot, but nevertheless, 10 was in the pit. Sunny Yi, that's a little left of target. And a seven count. That will be the one three nine. The one three nine will be her lead. George getting ready to roll his shot. That's left the target, and that will be the one three. Yes, 
one through six. Sunny Yi going a little high, and then a nine pin will, will be left over. So right now she's questioning what does she have to do to stay ahead. We can just take a look at the scores right now. There we go. Not exactly zooming in, but Sunny Yi with 110. George, George picking up a spare. So Sunny Yi with 110 with her open. George with 111. Manoram right now is the leader, and he's trying to stay ahead of the race. He is not trying to look back. Busted. So Steve, my, my, my ten in the pits have been a little low, a little low tone. <laughs> oh, there's both. Oh, and a defiant seven pin. The seven pin hangs on. It does not want to be a follower, and it decides to be a leader. Manoram starting with an eight and, and a chop spare. And ever since then, he's corrected that mistake with four in a row. Max right now trying to keep the house clean for the remainder of the game. And he plays right in the oil, and it goes long, and it takes the seven out. They're, they're trying to beat each other here, and next week, you can try to beat the boards right down the road at AMF East Meadow. Beat the boards. And let's see if George can... Oh, he tried, he tried to beat the He tried to beat the lanes. The lanes didn't, didn't take too much away from him. Seven count. Losing some count since he was on the stair. And Sunny E trying to put some sunshine on her score. And right now it looks like that's a seven count. Yes, it is. Sunny E leaving, leaving the. Uh, leaving the seven count. George takes out his spare. Sunny trying to kick the bucket minus one. And there it goes. Gets out of the rut and she's back on track and she's back on the marking train. Sunny right now. Not out of the race. 110 with her handicap plus the spare. Max goes a little outside and gets a little bit of loan forgiveness without a split, but still a six count could hurt his count, being that he is on his point. And here goes Manoram, again, up the right side of the right lane. And that is indeed 10 in the pit. And there we go, giving up to Steve Sanders. And that may hook. Well, if Manoram was worried about someone behind his back, he might not worry as much. But then again, as we've seen with these shots, anything could happen. If Manoram stays locked in, he will be locking down on a $3,000 prize fund. And George right now, looking very aggressive on that shot. And it resonates with Tim. Indeed, 10 in the pit, 10 in the pit. Sunny needs to look up for some more sunshine. Let's see if she can get that sunshine as she stays behind the ball. Left the target, but she'll be getting up. All right, so not a bad lead. Leaving the 5-9. Max trying to, Farrell McNeil trying to recover from that last in despair. Let's see what happens here. Very good. A little inside. And takes the nine out, leaves the five. If Mana Ram continues at this pace, we're going to see who's playing basically for second place. Oh, no. And, and chopped wood. 
chop the wood and that has got to be heartbreaking to be online for the spirit and then again that shows what that back end reaction is doing for the spirit and yes pharaoh may have a beard but that was a close shave that was indeed a close shave so man around left side on the left lane playing back up and that's gonna hit hard and it does and that is what what is that steve what is that steve that's a sandbagger 10 in the pit very good <laughs> No need to bring sand to the beach when you got plenty of sand in your bag. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Nevertheless, a champion is what a champion is, and he is showing why he has held titles before here in the Long Island Generation Bowling Tour. Sunny, he finding some sunshine. Oh. I got a, I got a tramp over there. That's a sample. If you want, move the camera up and show the score. I moved it up. I had it so much. Right up here. Back forward. Nice shot, George. Just go up there and just say, okay, here, let's take a look at this. Right here. Which one's back forward? Which one's right? Right on the top. This on thing top. here slides left, right. All right. So we'll zoom in on the scores. As you see, Sunny E just converted her spear. So right now, 137 plus. Mana Ram. Well ahead, to say the least. George Williams right now looking to convert his spare. And Farrell McNeil still trying to stay clean. So right now at this point, um, playing for second place for the most part, unless something drastic happens. But as focused as Mana Ram is, nothing drastic is going to happen, but that was a drastic drive-by of the four pick. Man around, sticking with the plan. And well, at that rate, well, he shows that um, he is he is human, and he finally stopped striking. Max is trying a little more of an inside approach, and gets the no, he doesn't get it. He gets nine and a half, but um, I don't think they count nine and a half on the score sheet, so we're just gonna call that a nine count. And Mana Ram staying clean, keeping the house clean. Yep. And I don't want to say that Mana Ram already has won the tournament because anything can happen, but Mana Ram is on pace to adding another title to his resume. And Pharrell McNeil, great spare shot. His sixth title. Uh, this will be Mana Ram's sixth title. If he stays clean. I don't know, he, has, he needs a lot of pins. <laughs> there, there, there's, no, there's no camera. There's no camera on me. Oh. And 10 in the pit, and he's gonna keep swinging. He's against the ropes, but he's not gonna give up hope. He's keeping hope alive. Well, let's see, right now in second, it's looking like George Williams is, is heading for a second place win. And um, I got some fans behind me over here. Oh, and Sunny E loses her footing a little bit. And she gets a seven count. Why are you doing that, Olsen? I see you doing it to him. <laughs> you know, Bobby, it actually turned me on a little bit. <laughs> and, and Max is trying to max out. He's trying to max out and try to cash out for second place. So right now he's right on George Williams' tail. And Sunny Yi is going for her spare. And that's a beautiful shot. Let's see if she convert. And she converts the spare. And there is still some hope for Sunny Yi. It is a great tight race for second place. But right now, first, he's doing far from the worst. Oh no, he asked me because he said Pac Wan was busy. Well, me too. If you ever want to do it, I don't care. I don't, I don't want to. It's not, I'm not the ego guy. Well, well, it looks like a little There's gap tooth smile on the lane, so um, he separates he separates the head pin from the two pin. So let's see if we could um, convert the spare. Let's see if he puts on a little showtime for us here. It's on your fucking feet. And Sonny. 
Yeah, oh, and oh, still no sunshine for Sunny Yee, but even though she put a lot, she put a little muscle on that ball. And Mana Ram sticking with the plan and he's staying, staying clean for what looks to be his sixth title. Well, it's not a fix. It looks like this is six. And Sonny's trying to give a high five. Oh, that's all right. Sonny's got nothing to be ashamed of. Um, she showed up and she made it to the final four. And I'm pretty sure there's much more in store for Sunny E. Hopefully she comes next week when we try to beat the boards next week at AMF East Meadow. And right through the head pin, George Williams leaving the 3-6-10. Let's see if we can convert this. So now here's the situation. Sunny E has finished fourth place. George needs to convert the spare. Don't you fucking and put, dare. And put 10 you get, in the pit. Yes, he does indeed need the spare, and he has to get a strike. He's, he's going to have to find a way to stay clean, to force Mickens, to force Farrell McNeil. And he's going to force Farrell McNeil to do something here. George said, nope, I'm not giving up anything. Second place right now is feeling like first. Look at this. And, and, me, and, the best. and when you think you can't fit any more in the bag, he still finds more sand. He found some more sand. We're going to start calling him Sandy Bassadeo at the end of this. But nevertheless, great bowling. He came here, he showed up, he threw a lot of punches, he landed a lot of shots. And speaking of shots, this may hit left. Left or right is still all right for 10 in the pit. And now let's see what Colonel McNeil's gonna do. And Man Ram putting on a little spare display. I guess he took umbrage with what I said about a little bit Santa Bear. He says he needs two checks. Trust me, you already got six of them. You're good. He needs to tell me he needs to double second place. All right, so um, Pearl McNeil's gonna need a double to make some trouble for George over here. And he strokes it out, and I think it's gonna be enough. And it wags his finger and it says no. And it looks like a third place finish for Farrell McNeil. Still nothing to be ashamed of. In my book, still a good day of bowling for all four finalists. And, and the winner, the man who has been ramming the pins, Mana Ram Bassadeo. Man around Bassadeo with his sixth title win. Final score, Sonny Yi, 182. Go on the approach. He's going to come on the check. I'll let you handle that part. You look better on camera. I don't have my hair cut. <laughs> All right, so final scores. Manoram, Basadeo. Sonny Yee, 182. Farrell McNeil, 205. Second place, George Williams with a 216. And Manoram, Basadeo, 268. 268 was great for $3,000. Show and we're gonna, approach. All right, and then we, there we go. All right, and there it is, Manoram, standing with another check in his hand, sticking with the plan. Say thanks, everybody. See thank, you next week. Thank, you, bro, thank you very much, everybody, for a, for a wonderful tournament. See you next week. Hopefully, you'll try to beat the boards at AMF East Meadow. Good night, everybody. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs>